is Allison Salvin from Ink and Up Canada and on today's Technique Tuesday I'm going to show you how to make these really cute little pleats. This is a really cute carnival card and it would be great for a kid's birthday or a masculine birthday and um, it really is adorable with these little pleats at the bottom. So let me show you how to make those. You're going to start with a piece of cardstock that's nine inches by one and a half. This is the DSP International Bazaar which I love. You can make the pleats in two ways. I'm going to use the Simply Scored and what you want to do is you want to score this strip at one inch, a quarter inch, two inches, two and a quarter, three, three and a quarter, and so on until you get to eight and a quarter. I will have the dimensions on the screen in front of you. So we're going to start with one, one and a quarter, two, two and a quarter, three, three and a quarter, four, four and a quarter, five, five and a quarter, six, and you can see I'm just going along until I get to eight and eight and a quarter. And that's done. That's why I love this tool. Look how quick that was. So now I've got these little score lines, which you may or may not be able to see. And I want to just, first of all, just score them. That's the first thing I'm going to do. Just find them all. If you go to a light side of the cardstock, you can sometimes see it. I don't really care which way these are going at the moment. I'm going to fix it. So don't worry about which way they're going yet. Just want to get them scored. So once they're all scored, you've got something that looks like this. What you want to do is pinch in this side. So that makes sense probably to you when you're going to make this fold. You can kind of see that. But on this one, we're going to fold it back on itself. So it's like this. Creating something that looks like that. And you're going to keep doing that. This one's going to go back the other way, like so. And then this one's going to fold up and in, like so. I'm just going to keep doing that. Fold this one back, and this one's going to fold on top of itself. This one's going to fold under and then on top. I'm hoping that you can get the gist of this. And if I hold this up, like so, I'm thinking that you can probably see it quite easily, how that goes in and out, in and out. So you could use this, any either side of this, um, once you've got it all folded, because it's got the same reverse on the other side that it does on this side. Once you've got it all done, you're going to run some sticky strip along the bottom and the top here, just so it will hold it in place on your card. Here's the card, and you can see how I've run that back and forth, back and forth, and then I've stuck that down. I've just added some ribbon and the stamps. So I hope you've enjoyed these little box pleats, and I hope you'll, and I hope you'll try them yourself. Thanks so much for watching, and happy stamping. Try to draw outside the line